<laughs> We're here at the Chang Susan Hotel. It's uh, lit up in this really classy neon lighting. And it's nighttime, so you can't see very much. But you can hear a lot. And hopefully what you hear <laughs> in the background is some guy on a loudspeaker uh, yelling about something, actually. I, I'm not sure. I'm going to try to find out. But uh, what you see, those lights out there slowly moving are just some bikes passing through the street. But all you really hear is just that guy on the megaphone yelling about something. Chang Susan means long life, I believe. So this is the Long Life Hotel, and we're in Pyongsang City in North Korea. Let's go take a look inside, shall we? So we're outside at the moment, and we're going to go walk in. Now it's some really patriotic music. And the first thing you're going to see as you come in is this beautiful portrait of the dear leaders of North Korea, Kim Jong-il and uh, Kim Il-sung on the left. Like all these hotels, there isn't a ton of illumination. Things are actually pretty dimly lit here. This is the gift shop, which we'll do a little walk by. She may not like this. I'm going to keep this low. And just uh, do a little sort of walk by here. Got some dolls, and you can also buy a rice cooker and some sandals. But let's keep walking this way. That's up. Portrait again. And uh, let's go. All the hotels have the same DVD on of patriotic propaganda. This one's no different. A large screen TV showing some wonderful propaganda. Very inspiring. Here's the reception desk. See, this is the Zhang Susan Hotel. Let's go on in a little bit. Fun thing about this hotel, there is a, what appears to be a barber shop based on that iconography. So we're gonna go in. It's really dark, there's a single light bulb. So I don't know if they're open. They have these mug shots of faces uh, I guess showing you all the different hairstyles you can you can request Those are the guys and here are the women See anything you like Yeah, let's go see what's inside here this may be <laughs> Annyeonghaseyo. Oh, just seeing, looking around. <laughs> so that was the hairstylist. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> Apparently, they are closed. This guy here is, I think, the bellhop, but he's also security, it seems. He came running in. I was all. Now, I'm on the fourth floor, so there are no elevators here. I'm going to have to go up these four flights, of, four flights of stairs, so come, let's go walk up some stairs. Some nice plants. Yeah, so that guy actually ran out earlier and stopped another tourist who was walking outside into the parking lot and went beyond the boundary. As he shouldn't. Like all the other hotels here, the tourists aren't allowed outside the 
the very strict borders of the hotel itself. And if we are caught, that's a really, really, really bad thing. So we are held in these glorified prisons. Oh, these are really tall floors. Okay, fourth floor. These are really dark rooms, dark halls rather. We're in 408. So let's check it out. Come on in to 408. Super nice. Got some uh, plastic faux wood prints flooring here, which is nice. Some slippers that have, I think, seen better days. You got your bathroom here. Just doesn't make you really feel at home. These uh, nice uh, towels, uh, your toiletries with some phosphorescent pink and blue uh, shampoo and conditioners, I would think. Some bath soap. Uh, you got your sink in your tub. It's drippy. With a blue pail, which uh, I'm not sure how you would use that, but I'm sure it comes in handy sometimes. Sort of cracked toilet, excellent. And then you got your room here. Uh, two really low beds, sort of Japanese style, I guess. And uh, that's about it. You got your TV, your small coffee table, and then like all my other videos of these uh, of these North Korean hotels. You got a fridge here that um, isn't on, just doesn't work. It's not cold. Exciting. And best part is you can still hear that guy. Hopefully you can hear him like I can. He's super loud. This is the balcony. And so from, even inside the room, but definitely here from the balcony, you can hear him chattering away. That's it. Shut the door here again. I'm sure that's actually closed. I think that's closed. Close that up. And uh, oh, last thing. It's always fun to sort of see what's on TV here. I think this is on. Oh, it was on. And there's just nothing on TV. The red light's on. Let's see here. Oh, oh, oh. It's come to life. All right, let's see how many channels we have here. One. And one. We have one channel, like before. And uh, it's actually not coming. There we go. And it's more, it's more news. Propaganda news. So this is, I guess, what I'll be watching tonight until dinner. So this actually happened today, uh, rather yesterday. This was the um, celebration of the formation of North Korea, which happened yesterday on September 9th. It's called National Day. And it's when a lot of folks, all the national, all the locals will come and pay respects um, to, actually I think, I'm not, I'm not even sure what this is. This doesn't look like, I don't know what this is. I take that back. But this is what we did yesterday. You go to the monuments and you bow. And you pay your respects. Okay, well, um, signing off. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Well, after I filmed that 
video, the first video, I uh, I discovered a couple of things that I just had to call out and share with you because I thought you would hopefully be as amused as, as I was. Um, so here's a little uh, addendum to the video I just shot about yeah, this hotel here in Pyeongsang, North Korea. Um, first off, we have these two. I just thought it was really dark in the room here. My camera's done a good job of balancing out the the, the lighting, but <laughs> there are two lamps here. So I tried to uh, add some more lighting and, and turn these things on. And I was like, ah, oh, I guess they're not working. I guess the bulb's blue. No, it's actually just because there's no bulb in either lamp. No bulb, no light. That's awesome. And then I thought, okay, well, that's not too bad, you know, save a little power. Then I tried to take a shower, and uh, as you can see, I, I saw, oh, there's a, there's a faucet head, which, by the way, once you step into this bathtub, which is about a foot and a half off the ground, you can't really tell as easily. <clears throat> it means that, first, my head's um, brushing the ceiling almost. But more that this shower head is sort of right at my belly level, so I can't even wash my hair. But even better, uh, I turned on the water fountain, or the water faucet to start up the shower, as you see here, and I couldn't figure out how to get the shower, uh, the water to come out of the shower head rather than the faucet. And it turns out, well, follow the cord of the shower, and it's connected to oh, the sink. <laughs> so I had to operate the sink uh, to, to get my shower instead, which is awesome. And then finally, you know, as I was getting ready for bed, uh, you know, I started turning off the lights and I couldn't figure out how to turn off this light here in my, uh, I guess, atrium. And I just, there's no light switch, no nothing. And then finally, I figured it out. We're in the hallway. And here is my light switch. And then to top it off, my next door has something going on here. Going on? Apparently, their pipes are burst. And they're holding it down with their own hands. Did you get some help? Okay, you know what? Fuck this And it's flooding the bathroom. Did you get help? It's okay. We just find the clock. Anyway, welcome to Pyeongsang.